Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Geller and you're watching Quick and Kosher and today we are making potato kugel. This is you're here in Israel now uh, with your uh, the translation, now it's in Hebrew, your book. So first of all, tell us for those who aren't familiar, who's Jamie Geller? Oh my gosh, that's a really long story, Yoni. How much time do you have? Um, basically, I was the book in English is called Quick and Kosher Recipes from the Bride Who Knew Nothing, and that was me. When I got married, I didn't know the difference between a spatula and a saucepan, and I didn't care. I was a producer at HBO and at CNN and traveling the world. I never ever wanted to be crowned Balabusta of the Year, but as it happens, I was about Shuva, and I got married, and my husband didn't want to eat yogurt and you know fruit salad for dinner or takeout from restaurants, so I learned how to cook. And that's how I wrote the book, and that's how I ended up here. A dream of all dreams to have the book translated in Lashana Kodesh, but Eretz Kodesh is something amazing. Now you you become kind of famous uh, in America. Do you think it's although you're Haredi, ultra orthodox, whatever you want to call it, or because you're Haredi? Oh, well, I think it really gives me a niche. I mean, if I would just be a regular, non-kosher cookbook author trying to make my move and place in the world, I would have no chance. In America, there's Martha Stewart, there's Rachel Ray, there's 101 amazing celebrity chefs. The fact that I am kosher and fill that niche allows me to really have a niche and to be successful for that. So I go on TV like Rosh Hashanah, Pesach, and um, Hanukkah, and I do things like latka, latkas and uh, brisket and... Um, just traditional dishes that people love to see because ethnic in America is very in. People are very interested in kosher as a cuisine, so it actually works out really well. So they're interested in the Jewish style. Are they also interested in the kosher, what kosher really means? They do ask, but I think they're less so interested in that and more of it as an ethnic and cultural cuisine. And I think also there's the feeling that it's healthier, that it's more stringently watched and protected. So there's a kind of a positive aura around it that it may be better for you. So they look at it as a diet as a way of life. Now you're here in Israel. You have plans to also make Aliyah? Yes. Oh my gosh. This reporting on TV, we'd love. It's been a dream of ours forever to make Aliyah. So we do hope to one day soon, yes. You're going to make Aliyah. What do you expect to, to see here, to feel here in terms of the food? As a quick cook, I do rely on some shortcuts, but I actually feel that if the food is very fresh, you don't need a lot of ingredients and you don't need a lot of shortcuts. You just need a few things combined cleverly and you can really make amazing dishes. So a lot of things in life are hard. Putting dinner on the table should not be one of them. And being able to shop in a colorful, amazing place like this and make fresh food for your family is amazing. You know, you're on the side of the presenter and maybe you're not sitting in front of the, uh, the the screen but what are people watching the cooking show what are they doing are they writing how to make the food are they writing the recipes are they just looking are they maybe jealous that you're making so good food what really what do you think people are doing when they're watching your shows well for me no one should ever be jealous because if i can do it anybody can do it in all honesty the first time i made toast without setting off the smoke alarm my father was like oh a real balabusta. So honestly, that should not make intimidate people. But people on the other side of the camera, they're either writing it down or they're looking to see and to pick up techniques. You know, sometimes cooking can be intimidating, and when they see, especially my recipes, how easy they can be, then it's a win-win situation for all. So they love it as a tutorial, and I actually think they love it to relax, and many people watch it multiple times. And because it's all online, which is amazing, I have a website, blog.kosher.com, where they can watch like 60 cooking videos. They also can link to the recipe, so they don't have to take notes. They can link and then print out the recipe. So we make it very easy for people.